Go ahead and um, see what we got. Okay, I, I don't, I don't think I use a lot of boosters unless they're permanent boosters. Well, that creature's permanently out there on the field. So, um, that's good. I, I like that card. I got four of them on. Wait, do I? No, that's good. Because that'll be number three. But I don't have four to have. Oh, I love this card. Um, whenever, uh, let's see, cracker. Okay, well, I don't want to use that. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Got four of them already. Um, yes, another clock. Okay, so I can use that. I can use more of that now. Alright, so, cool. right, awesome. I only have one of them. So now I got two. Fill up the top four cards, library, and graveyard, target artifact. That's only if I have the mana, though.
Okay, I got a number two. Okay, that's number four. Number three, Nessa. I think that's my third of this one. Oh, I have two of him. We need a rouse. Wow, that's that's sickening. Wow, I'll be using that. I got plenty of her. That's number four, Jace. Four. All right, all right. I got the Tafiri. Tafiri, Tafiri, Tafiri. I got another mobilized district. That's what's up. Um. Okay. Ooh. Red Lord. Oh. Hope I get some gods. I want to make a god deck. Okay. This combat damage to players. You may discard the number of cards. That many cards. Add that much mana until the end of the game. Don't lose the mana as it steps. A Johnny, uh, he's a great artist. All right. All right. Hey. All right. I got another master girl. That's the sub of this. Probably be using this a lot more. I see him use a lot against me. Oh, oh, I got the Cranko. I got the Cranko. Okay, this card is nasty as hell. Such a nasty card. I'll be using that. My red thing. Definitely. That rojo. Rojo. Oh, oh my god. I got a god card. I got the Eternal. I got the Kefnet. Okay, okay. Okay, so that makes two Kefnets. Alright, alright. That's good. That is going to be sickening. Okay. That's great. And it's pretty cheap. No sword can oh, pierce my scales. Oh, oh Sarkon. Oh. That makes number three or four. Oh, that's such a good card. I like this card. That card's pretty cool. Mass. Like the phases of the moon. Like wax and wanes. Oh shit, look, look at that. Got full progress. Let's see what we get. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's like my second one in less than a month, though. Of my old, I can't remember which team it was on. I, but I opened it after the stream. See what it was like. I probably should get it on stream. Okay, that's a really good card. I like this card. A little bit for an angel deck. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I love this card. That is my. And this this card has saved me so many times. My black green and my overall when I do a multicolor deck, like I try to bring him. So nice. Okay, what is this? Final 
revelation. Draw X cards with X inner more. Instead, shuffle your graveyard into your library. Draw X cards. Untap up to five lands and you have no axe on hand size for the rest of the game. Wow. So that's a good late, mid, late, even an early card. I even just if I wanted the no uh, hand size. That's pretty nasty. Non-creature spell, Mizium Tank becomes an artifact creature. It's number one, turn it through. So I use a card, put that on the field, it's got trample. And so it becomes a fourth three. To be honest, I think Warrior Spark was one of the best out um, for this series. Final Promise. You may cast up to one target instant or up to one target sorcery card from the graveyard. Each with converted cost of X. So but it's one card up to one target instant card and or target source so that, that's like cast two cards okay or less without pain and a cost if a card was cast put in your graveyard this turn exile it and if ten or more copy those spells twice oh shit that's nasty Sorcery. Enter the God Eternals. Deal four damage to target creature, and you gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. Target player puts the top four cards of their library into the graveyard of master. Wow. Kind of fly, but he's just, he's expensive. He's six. Go four damage. Well, it well, I guess because it's sacks. Five would have been cheaper. Ooh. Red reach card, that's it. A lot of them. Alright, let's see. Oh, I already know what that is. Gateway Plaza and uh, Tayo Tayo. All right, let's see that. Oh, we know what that is. Oh. We're also gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some, uh, some greatness after uh, we finish opening. Yeah. I have faced worse than the I think this is my second card. I think I'll be able to use more now. I'll probably use cards at least that I have two of. Even if that card, like, there's a, there are occasions you see me put a one at one off in, in my uh, X. Uh, only if that card's, like, been really, really, really good. Like, 
I know I did that with one of my favorite black cards. I can't think of this right now. I know it's my favorite, but I, you know I have I, I have uh, so, but I know what it looks like. The hunt, there it is the hunt. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Lands, lands on the battlefield. Lands in the graveyard. Can't be targets of spells or abilities. Or control. Your opponent can't play lands from graveyards. That would have been useful about seven, eight games ago. Alright, class zone. Uh, enters the battlefield with a charge on it. useful but he's still expensive he's... like usually creatures that don't have abilities I'm not really fond of uh, choose any number of target creatures and or planeswalker cards in graveyards command the dread or just damage equal to the total converter and a cost of those cards Put them onto the battlefield under your control for six. Damn, that's cheap. So that's in any graveyard. That's sick. That is sick. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's gonna be a deadly card if I get that out. If I get four of those. Alright. Eh. It's just Karn's Bastion. I think I got three of those. Maybe two, maybe. Control of two perm target permanents that share permanent type. Okay, gleaming overseer. Oh yeah, he's pretty cool. He makes uh, your token. Uh, zom all zombie tokens have like X proof and. The Krinko. Krinko! Krinko! That's awesome. Great card. That is amazing. Amazing. Alright, so we got Emergent Zone, Krinko, and we got Casmina. It's also nasty in her own right. That's a pretty good card. I like that card. That's good for a mid to late game. That's such a nasty card. I wish it was like one cheaper. That's pretty cool. Alright. So we got Neoform. 
has an additional cost to cast to spell, sacrifice a creature, search your library for a creature with a converted cost, mana cost, plus one plus and sacrifice a creature with converted mana cost. So for instance, if I sack this creature, it would add a plus one and I can summon whatever. So that's four, two, three mana, so I can summon something four. That's essentially what this card does. I, I would sack something here. And then it gets a 1-1 one, one counter, so that's a sub. Oh, of this Hydra, I don't think I have a lot of them. I'd be on one. I'll check the deck. Uh, Bio Essence Hydra enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter for loyalty counter on a Planeswalker. Oh, so if I, so for what that's saying is if I have a Planeswalker, and let's say it has four. Say Liliana, she has four, uh, four life, or four, four, four uh, little counters on it, right? So if I drop him out, he'll get four plus one counters, and then if I put any more counters on like my other planeswalkers, it'll get another counter. So that's 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 nice. Outburst, do damage target, top two cards, cyber. That card is kind of okay. It's, it's, yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're about sacrificing creatures, that's, you know, yeah, you know, that's what's up, you know. But it's only if it enters, it's not an active, it's not a continuous ability. So, Let's say I had a bunch of one ones. I sacked it. I sacked it. Come out. Make it really tough. So. Alright. I use this on occasion because the downside is either you lose one life and you don't have a way to replenish that life, it can actually come and hinder it to you. Now, if you can manage to have your token out, It'll mitigate the cost long enough. But if if someone like me and they have a bunch of zappy zappies start taking out that token, well then that person's constantly that I'm constantly losing life. So oh, I love this card. I this might be number four finally, um, because she just exiles a creature straight up like. I'm glad she comes with seven counters. So, it's, she's really cool. Like, I love this card, and this is one of my favorites too, the Wander. Even though it's like power four, but those are, that kicks out nuisance cards. And her other abilities are nasty. And all non combat damage will be dealt to you other permanents. So, they have to deal like, so, like, I couldn't be zapped or nothing, and my creatures are fine. I can't be destroyed or anything. Right on oh, schedule. Oh shit, I got another Teferi. Teferi, 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 Ray. Oh, and this one I think is the good one. Um, until your next turn, you may cast. No, it's the other one. Um, shit, that allows you to untap. Yeah, the other Teferi that allows you to untap your mana every turn man every turn and gives him a counter okay so Baraz is for eminence she's cool if you can manage to get that cool off like you can hit some games early I've, I've seen people do some nasty shit um put her mass as a sub really use this grizzly Probably should. I don't really use it. I like this card when I'm using red decks. I don't think I have this card. This is probably my number one. Um, discarded land. Whoa. Living just. Whoa. Turn tap land you control. What? How would I do that? 
would this work? I don't. I mean, if, hmm. all right, number one, final card, last card. Clutch though, because she get five life. I've lost so much already. Uh, I won't I lose this more. Is my first one of this one. Yeah, this is definitely my first one. I don't have, I don't have this. I don't have this. Uh, I think this is my first baby. I check my decks. All right, guys. So that's it with the decks. Now let's continue on. With the greatness. Okay, so man, I can open five mythics, eleven rares, twenty-five commons, and seventeen uh common, uncommon. Uh, excuse me, twenty-five uncommon and seventeen commons. All right, let's get it. Uh, X. Go to my wild card plus plus. So let's see what I have. Actually, I, I can probably just straight up go with it. So let's just do this. Let's start off with it. Alright, so I got two Gideons now. Alright. I can buy him. That, that's, that's just okay.
let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see.
Yo, 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 thank you for watching, thank you for watching. Sorry, uh, it took a while for me to, uh, look back. Um, right now, uh, joining me, I'm just, uh, going through and creating cards that, uh, seem pretty powerful that I know I need. Them. That's what I'm doing. in the deck those are the cards that I'm probably thinking about doing and as, as you've seen certain cards that is right away create um, because those are cards I know I use in my life I don't even have to think about him. He's nasty. Uh, yeah, protection from green. But that's just a bonus. The main ability I use him for is to stop other creatures from getting 1-1 uh, one -one counters on them. So that's, that's why I use him. Like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Cause that means I gotta sacrifice a land. Nah. I don't know. I'ma hold off on that card. Nah, I'm not gonna spend money on that. <laughs> no.
thinking about and then anything I instantly create is something I know that that's been very useful to 